what's going on guys welcome to another video and for today's app sheet episode we let's see what we can do today um oh here's one this a is a comment by the shiba nanda and basically says here he is actually asking on how to do a lookup function with multiple conditions so basically uh, i would assume that uh, shiba wanted to wants to extract the latest uh, rate for the same item for this uh, by according to the latest date uh, so i guess lookup is or maybe select is one of the expression that we can use for this um, case. So I guess without further ado, let's check it out. All right, guys. So as usual, we have a set of data. Now, I don't really know the exact context. Okay, but I'm just going to go with what I assume will be right. So I have the unique ID, item, rate, and date. So this is in the items table. Okay, so this is where I have a list of inventory. Okay. And the reason why I have unique ID is because later on, we'll add the same item uh, for a few times for different rate and date. Okay, and in transaction, we have the transaction ID, the item, the rate, quantity, total, and date. Okay, so this is just your standard generic um, transaction table. Now in app sheet, this is where the magic happens. Now, based on my un own understanding, I would assume that what we want to do is to extract the items okay based on their rate say for example the hammer is a hundred dollars here and this is for the rate on the 17th of february okay and if i have the latest uh, rate for hammer for a different date then it will appear under the same group okay now in transaction what we want to do is we want to select the rate okay so i am just breaking it down for you guys to see so that it's easier to understand so basically what it does is it will select the items and the rate sorry the rate from the items table and a few conditions to fulfill which is it has to be the same item okay for both tables say I, if i select hammer in the transaction table it will look for hammer and the date however in the items table will be the maximum where the items date is basically the latest one all right it will take the maximum all right <clears throat> and of course based on that date it will refer back to make sure it is based on the same item so this is what i can come up with that i will assume to sort of address the issue okay and of course i have added uh, the standard quantity and then the total price is basically the rate times the quantity all right based on the rate that we have extracted it will times the quantity hence the total of amount of the of the item and just for debugging purposes this is uh, purely optional you can try which is i'm using a max expression to select the date so this is basically to counter check to make sure we are using the latest uh, rate date okay uh, so this will appear in your transaction table as you select the item okay so now let's give it give this a try say in okay so let's say we'll try with hammer so hammer is a hundred dollars for this is the rate for 17th of february 
now in transaction let's add a new one if i were to select uh, hammer so you can see the rate is a hundred dollars okay and if i were to put say two quantity it will be two hundred dollars okay and of course you can see the items rate as at 17 february 2024 now it doesn't stop here let's say we add the same item okay and the new rate is 250 dollars okay and the date is say 18 of february so now you can see there's two hammers in same group but different rates at a different day so obviously the 18 is the latest one which is 250 dollars okay so let's test it out in transaction if i were to select hammer again there you go it's now 250 and you can see the items rate as at 18 of february okay so this is how we can use the uh, <clears throat> select with certain conditions that we can filter out to make sure we are selecting the latest um, rate based on the latest date okay for the particular item so you can actually modify this concept conceptually this can work for any conditions that you have in your app and give this a try today so i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to drop a like if you find this useful and of course if you haven't subscribed please do so so that you will find more contents like this in the future and of course uh, do let me know what else you would like to see in the comment section down below I'm Aris Azaha. Thank you very much for your time. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.